Hi, everybody. It's Arblin Spiritual with another reading. Thank you for being here. So uh, we have a pick a uh, pile today, pick a card. And I'm going to do um, tea leaves, but I split the deck three ways. So nothing will be the same in each pile. So this is going to be um, the next seven to ten days. What you need to know in the next seven to ten days. So choose intuitively. We have the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. So I will see you in your reading. I appreciate you. Like, share, and subscribe if you like this. I love you guys. Woo! All right. All right. Pile one, we have the Queen of Cups. So you could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or this is someone coming towards you or that you're dealing with right now. This is also representing your emotions, your feelings. You're feeling uplifted. Maybe you're giving yourself a lot of uh, self-love, self-care. Maybe you're in that kind of vibe right now. Treating yourself to something sweet and beautiful. You're being seen as someone that's very beautiful and very sweet very loving, very compassionate, romantic. You could be being gifted something, crowned for something here, being highly thought of. And with these strawberries, this is giving me like abundance, fertility, creativity. So let's see. Also, this could represent water sign seasons, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. So let's see what the fairies say about this holiday. So maybe you're going on a, a vacation or a holiday within these seasons. The answer you're looking for can be found during a vacation, retreat, or holiday getaway. Ooh. So something, an answer to your question in the next seven to ten days could be you le taking a little time off, a little vacation, a little retreat from something. Dangerous, especially in money matters. Maybe this is about your career. Maybe you're worried about money and spirit saying, you know, maybe you need to just take some time out. Let's see what else is here. Why is this happening here? Solid foundation, success with effort. Hmm. Family matters. So you could be going on a family vacation. Maybe you're spending a little bit more than uh, than you have planned for this vacation or retreat or getaway. And maybe Spirit's just trying to tell you, like, you know, spend within your means or whatever you brought for this trip. Don't go overboard. Especially if you have, like, tourist placements. There could be something that's unexpected that happens in the next 7 to 10 days. Connected to um, your home, your family. Maybe you're going to have an unexpected thing that happens like, you know, for example, maybe you got to get like your roof done or your windows or something like that. And, and Spirit's saying, you know, make sure you have money for this saved. Gain together with friends. Chinese here, the dog, Scorpio. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio here. Yeah, Wedge, someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. This could be connected to your career or your foundation. This could be someone in your family. This also could represent um, spirit. Oh, hold on. Something fell on the floor. This is hidden from you, by the way. This one. Whoa, son. <laughs> I'm on my chair, but like one of my legs is like, because it's like a cross leg chair. And like, I like started rolling away, bro. Like... <laughs> So you, you want to leave and roll away from this shit. You know what I mean? I feel like you're not even going to be worried about this because I'm laughing and yeah. you're Somebody that tried hurting you and your family or disappointing you, it's not going to work. Hard to go for what you no longer have. I feel like since you're in this beautiful energy of the Queen of Cups, that all this love 
for yourself. You're not letting anybody bother you or hurt you. You're like, F you guys, I'm going on vacation. This could be like your boss saying like, no, you can't go anywhere. You can't do anything. And you're like, no, I'm doing what I want. I have time. Or you're going to literally say, F you, I'm, uh, I'm quitting. You know, I don't like this job anyways. You don't pay me enough anyways. Stork, news of a birth or new business opportunity. Maybe you're going to be traveling towards a, a new business opportunity. Maybe you're going to completely move on from whatever this is in the next seven to 10 days because of a new opportunity. Some of you could be finding out that you're pregnant as well. Temptation will test you. Chinese zero the snake. Hmm. You do have a solid foundation here, right? But something is very tempting here. Very tempting. And it's and it has to do with someone coming in between you and a friend. Hmm. Problems to be resolved. That has to do with that temptation. Younger man. This is somebody that could be hurting right now in your family. Or this person got hurt by their family. Maybe they tried to come in between you and somebody else. Chinese ear of the dragon. And I also heard Virgo. Be, beware of self-delusion. This person's being very self-delusion right now. Applejack. Hmm. This is happening in 2024, by the way. This person could have Taurus placements. This could be someone that you're getting away from. Family sorrow. Yeah, a lot of you are traveling to get away from like a situation with like your family in the next seven to ten days. Like you just want to have your time, alone time here. Position of authority. Maybe some of you are taking a vacation because you're starting a new job. And you know it's going to be very stressful here. Work, achievement, and success. Yeah, but you're going to be very successful here. So any money problems that you that you were experiencing, I feel like with this new business venture, you're going to be very successful, very abundant. Family wishes coming true. So, wow, you're going from like negative stuff with your family. Maybe they were disappointed in you or they didn't like what kind of career path you were taking. Maybe they didn't believe in you. Then all of a sudden these people or this particular person, this could be a sibling or something, is going to like want to be with you and work with you and hang out with you now because of you retreating. You're definitely retreating and getting away from something. You're moving away from a situation that was toxic. Yeah, a lot of you could be getting a new home and it's changing your attitude on life. Yeah, because someone around you is behaving stupidly here and you're like, yeah, I'm not dealing with these stupid ass people. And I don't blame you because that's annoying. Could be a fire sign, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And you have July here. So it's definitely happening right now in real time in July. Are you dealing with a cancer? Love, deep affection, and caring. Some of you are falling in love or meeting someone in love. Maybe they're going to make you feel a little stupid. You know, like, not stupid, like, uh, like in a mean way, but like, you know, stupid love, like, you're going to be all like, ah, you know, like all smitten and stuff. So do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. So some of you, you're going to be very defensive in love because you don't want anybody to treat you like you're stupid or um, you don't want to be taken advantage of. So you could have like a guard up and this person maybe knows that or maybe you already know this person and they're coming towards you again. And you're like, why are you coming towards me again? But news is on the way. Hmm. News is on the way here. Yeah, disappointment in a friend or lover. This could be someone, like I said, with that wedge that tried coming in between you and somebody else. And now you're going to be like, wow, you're really going to come back? You're really going to show your face? Happiness. But you're in a time of happiness. That's why you're the queen of cups. Because you're happy. You're good. This person's struggling. They're getting their karma. Time to act. Especially around Leo season, a Leo could be significant and pay attention to your health. You know, pay attention to those red flags, especially in August here. Wow, you have July and August here. Pay attention to that health. 
because whatever you're waiting on, news package or letter, it's coming. Remember, news is on the way. It could be coming from an older woman. Dealings or relationship with an older woman could be. They could be that water sign. They could have Sagittarius placements or something's connected to December. There was unsuccessful plans here with this person or this situation. But now you're going into a time of good fortune. Ooh, and love is here. So I feel like a lot of you were just experiencing very hard times, but now you're going to be feeling good. New opportunities, possibilities, paths opening up, and depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. And I feel like you're getting out of that energy. Yeah, because you're going to be hearing good news. So that's it. That's all we got here. And to end it, we have opportunity or windfall. That's about to happen for you. Literally. So good luck with everything. I hope you enjoyed this little reading. Next 7 to 10 days. And I will see you in the next one. Like, share, and subscribe too. Because that really helps me out. I love you guys. Thank you. Namaste. Love and light. Okay. All right. So pile two, Ace of Cups. Ooh. So brand new beginning here, especially in love. Aries, Chinese year of the rabbit, water energy. Again, your emotions are going to be overflowing with so much happiness and joy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe those seasons are significant. You could be dealing with someone that you're like opposites, you know, fire and water. Like yin and yang. This could be like a twin flame or a soulmate here. Let's find out. Marriage, look at this. The fairies join you in celebrate, celebrating wedded bliss. So... This is, this is love here. You're going to be getting proposed to, married, coming into union with someone if you're single. This is like the love of, your, of a lifetime here. This is like the one. So let's find out next 7 to 10 days. So this person could be a fire sign. Like I said, troubles, accusations, dark man, dealings or relationship with a, dark, with a man with dark complexion or hair. So this person could be um, darker complexion. They could have dark hair. They could be different than you from a different culture, different background. You will be shown the way. This person is being divinely guided towards you. You guys are being divinely guided towards each other here. Lighthearted, carefree time. Maybe this person's worried about you. In that way, hold up. Stuff just fell on the floor. Wow. Hold on a second. Let me get us uh, situated here on my beautiful chair. October. This person could have Libra or Scorpio placements or something's happening in October connected to this person. Or you could be getting married in October. You could be meeting this person in October. And I'm here solidified. Success. This is going to be very successful marriage and relationship. Money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. This person could have a lot of money or you're going to be experiencing a windfall in the next 7 to 10 days, especially. You could be moving towards this person. You could be traveling by boat or maybe they're at a distance from you. Period of prosperity and abundance with this bread. Wow. Wow, I'm even here breaking bread. Financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. Three cards about money and abundance and success. That's what, yeah, and you have success here. It's something that happened in the past, maybe connected to last October or something. But yeah, you're going to be getting some kind of money. Wow, victory in some endeavor. Are you serious? Wow, this pile is amazing here. Chinese ear of the rat. Someone is working against you behind your back. It could be this man. It could be a fire sign. They could have Capricorn placements. Or they could have Aries placements. Capricorn, Aries. Chinese are the goat. A stubborn, aggressive person. This also could be your energy because of all this uh, success and uh, uh, victorious energy. 
if I could talk, you're not going to want anybody to stand in your way. Someone going out of your life, the end of a situation, could be dealing with Scorpio. Someone could be leaving your life. And honestly, you don't really give a shit because you're in your power. Pay attention to your finances because I feel like you're, you're going to be so excited. You're going to be in your element. Maybe you're going to be spending a little too much or maybe you're going to want to spend a little bit more money on yourself or a situation here. And I feel like you're being divinely guided towards that. Maybe you want to have a big wedding, you know, and some people are like, oh, are you sure? Why? Are you? That's a waste of time, you know, whatever. But do what makes you happy. Maybe you want to do that. Maybe you had a dream of what you wanted your, you know, wedding to be like or your marriage or whatever. And I feel like whatever this is, Spirit's blessing you. God's blessing you. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. Yeah, you're definitely going into a lot of changes in your life. Arrow, you will be, you, wow, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. So you are on the right path to meeting this person or getting this abundance here. So it's great worry over nothing. You could be very worried right now. Like, is this ever going to happen for me? Am I ever going to get married? Am I ever going to meet the right person? You know, am I ever going to be successful and get that money? Yeah, you are. Too much concern with sexual matters, especially if you haven't been in a relationship in a while, maybe you you know, you're getting a little impatient like that. Chinese year of the rabbit, Aries, February, Aquarius, something could be happening in February or it's connected to February. Chinese year of the ox, but there's a chair empty here. Someone leaving your life that you have that twice. There's someone definitely leaving your life. This also could be like a position. You could be leaving a position, getting a different job, different uh, career you're going into. Maybe your boss is leaving or someone could be um, passing away here in some kind of aspect here. But I'm not really seeing that. I'm seeing like somebody leaving your life, like for good, like that death energy of it. When death card comes, it's like a change that that can never be changed ever again. It's like a, a, a change that's done. Once it comes, that's it. It clears everything. Dissatisfaction with life. And that's why this is happening, because you're you're disappointed here. Yeah, in need of help, assistance, or guidance. That could be this man, or this is you. Maybe this person's going to help you in some aspect. Muddled, unclear thinking. But look, a change for the better. And you have the caterpillar and the butterfly. So you're going from the caterpillar to the butterfly here. So things will not always be this way. A change is coming, a change for the better. So you could be experiencing all these changes right now, this moment. And spirit saying, yeah, this, this is, you're, you're becoming the butterfly. So be patient. And the next seven to 10 days, you're definitely feeling this. Success is short with good plans and hard work, especially with this golden egg and a goal-oriented person here. And I feel like this person could be helping you. Wow, with all this money and abundance here, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. You have a bunch of cards with that. Fair man, dealings a relationship with the fair, blonde, gray, or white-haired man. You have a dark man here. So this could be two different people. In love, that could be coming towards you because you have love here, marriage. Maybe you have choices between two people. Compliments from an admirer. One of them could be like an admirer of yours. Maybe since May or they have Taurus or Gemini placements. Ooh, this is becoming interesting here. Disappointment in some affair. Romance, celebration, and party. You could be invited somewhere by these people. Marriage, marriage and marriage. There's definitely a marriage taking place. This could be someone else's wedding that you're meeting these people. Or literally you're married, mar getting married, or this is your marriage. Or you could be going to a wedding and, you know, having your own wedding. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fair woman, dealing with a relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. Another person here involved karma you reap what you have sown that's it persevere and you will overcome problems so just keep going this is all happening persevere keep going don't give up and spirit has your back you're being divinely guided and there's a lot of things happening with these people so get ready for that in the next seven to ten days i wish you the best good luck with everything and um uh, you know like share and subscribe it really helps me out i love you guys and that's it I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to stay love and light.
All right, pile three. What is going on here? We have the Knight of Wands. So you could be a fire sign. Uh, you could be young, very youthful here. Leo Sagittarius Aries. You could be curious about something. Something's lighting you up. You could be feeling very passionate about maybe a new career or something you want to really um, learn about, you know, take initiative in. I'm hearing duty full, so you could be feeling, you know, like a lot of different things you could be doing, like multitasking through a lot of different things. This also could be someone coming towards you that feels very attracted to you, very passionate about you. Let's find out more. Next seven to 10 days. Whom do you need to forgive? Oh, this could be someone that you need to forgive or that you, you know, want your forgiveness here. As you release old anger or resentment, you will find that your wishes will come true. Some of you, if you're this fire sign, you could be forgiving somebody. You could be forgiving another fire sign. Or this is someone that's coming towards you that wants your forgiveness here. And once this forgiveness takes place, you're going to feel so much better here, Spirit saying, for some reason. Wow, they're all different. All pile, all the piles are different here. Four-leaf clover, great good fortune. You could be coming from my other reading um, that I just posted recently. So you're in that abundance. Unsettled times need a plan ahead. So there's something unsettling here. Are you, like, But with this great good fortune, I feel like you're very lucky right now. So you are being blessed. Do you feel like it's unsettled times right now? Maybe stuff is still in limbo for you. But opportunities are waiting for you. Doors are opening up. You know, it's just a matter of divine timing here. I feel like... You're in the divine timing right now. Keep your life in balance. Yeah, take care of yourself. You know, all the things are working out for you. You know, it might not be happening right in front of your face. But in the next 7 to 10 days, you're really going to be seeing this. Seek out information that will help you. You're going to be getting some kind of knowledge, some kind of information. March, maybe you've been experiencing this since March. Something important such as a new job or race. That's what could be coming to you. What's happening? And I'm sorry about my stomach's growling. So you're the only one that my stomach started uh, growling in the reading. So that could be significant. So listen to that gut feeling. A path with money is waiting for you. Yeah, you have something important, such as a new job or raise. This is going to give you more money here. So expect that. Yeah, and use your intuition. Psychic ability, you could have brown eyes, or this is someone that you're dealing with. Use your intuition about this. This could be someone coming in uh, uh, in your career that's going to help you. Chinese ear, the tiger, Pisces, March, Pisces. They could have Pisces or Aries placements, water, fire, doing something risky, taking a chance. It could be with your money, but use your intuition, spirit saying, yeah, and get back to basics. You could be seeing feathers. Yeah, and somebody definitely wants to come back into your life. There's a reconciliation here. Pineapples represent for me like, the summertime, so summer could be significant from whenever you see this. Dark woman. Dealings are relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. Broken bridge. Unsuccessful outcome to a problem. You could have ended things with this person. Um, or this person feels like they lost something. Or this person wants to mend something with you, this female. Control your anger, you will be sorry. Maybe you want to tell them off or you did. Or this person's coming towards you with uh, a lot of hurtful things and there's going to be a bridge that's broken between you and this person this could be an ending of a friendship or a relationship increase your efforts or if, uh if you want to achieve your goals it's interesting because i feel like this passion you know or whatever you know how people use like their sadness or anger to make music and stuff like that and it ends up being like a hit like i feel like you're using those feelings those emotions to fire you up or to inspire you and inspire other people in your life. Forces working against you. Yeah, you do feel like something's working against you, but it's actually not. It's actually not. You're be it's just all in divine timing. Especially if you're a younger woman here. Dealings of relationship with a younger woman. It could be the same person here. Or these are two different people coming into your life. Successful outcome to your problem. So if that's you, you have a successful outcome to a problem you've been facing elephant a long journey either 
physical or mental will leave you wiser in the end. And that's what you've been experiencing. But you don't you don't even realize that you're going to be wiser at the end of this journey. You know? Dealings are a relationship with a man. So now there's a man here. Celebration, fun, and enjoyment. You could be invited to something by these people. Or these people are going to be at this event or party. Wow, firecracker. Excitement. Something with firecrackers or, you know... Uh, Fireworks. So something could have been happening around July, 4th of July could be. Um, if you're watching this in real time, maybe this is happening in the 4th of July. I don't know that you're meeting all these people or these people are involved. But it's like a celebration here. Recognition, reward for merit. You're being recognized for something here. It's going to be a celebration. Chain of events that will affect your life, especially with these people. And deep friendship with some of the same sex. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, a handshake, a meeting with a stranger. I was going to say a handshake is going to change your life, but a meeting with a stranger could be important. Yeah, definitely. And it's all part of your karma. Yeah, so use your intuition to make beneficial changes. You have that twice here. So you could be a very intuitive person. And use that intuition. Peace and harmony is coming. Nest, an emotionally secure, loving person or family is important to you. But I said person. So you could be meeting someone in love as well. You could have cancer placements or cancer season is significant. You need to defend yourself. Hmm. Chinese ear of the dog, Scorpio. Advice from a friend. Yeah, take care. Enemies are working against you. You have people that are jealous of you. Because of the money you're receiving, these opportunities that are opening up to you, the love that's coming into your life. So protect your energy. Yeah, because you are very lucky right now. Good luck. Great good fortune. This is your energy right now. And people are jealous. Yeah, because you will be playing a different role. You're going to be at a different level. And you're stepping into a new experience. So don't be tempted to lower your, your standards for these people so they could like you or stay in your life. Not everybody's meant to go on your, your life journey with you. Some people have to be left behind. You have a short journey here. There's some kind of short journey connected to Chinese Year of the Horse. So freedom here. So enjoy your freedom that you have if you're single or whatever. Because you're about to go into a very, uh, I was going to say personal relationship or very deep commitment with something in your life. This could be a career or um, a person. You know, so enjoy this like short time frame you have of you being, you know, on your own, enjoying your life, whatever. Not saying you're not going to enjoy your life here, but it's going to be involved with other people. You know, you're still going to be free and live your life, but there's something else happening here. Especially if things haven't been going on or you've been, you know, in this quiet mode, that's all changing here. So Spirit's saying, enjoy this. Dealings are a relationship with a woman. You have a lot of feminine energy here. And changes in your life, especially cancer. And something with the full moon could be happening here. All right, these two want to come out, but broken ring, partings of the ways, and either romance or business. You could be um, ending a career thing with somebody, like a partnership and a career with somebody, and going into a new partnership. This also could be you leaving a relationship and going into a new relationship. And it could be with this older man person. For some reason, I want to grab another one here. Okay. Plenty of material things in June you have. So Gemini, uh, Cancer. You're going to feel like you have a lot of uh, material things here. Or something connected to June. Time to get it out and have fun. So that's it. That's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and subscribe. It um, helps me out and I appreciate you, you know. I feel like you guys had a really good reading too. All of them were really good. So yeah, good luck with everything and I'll see you in the next one. Namaste, love and light.